one word, jazz. Be aggressive at the plate. Go two. Jazz is aggressive. Yeah, he is. That one's hit deep to right field. Carlson going back. Take that. A two-run home run. Jazz Chisholm Jr. Last name, Chisholm. Bouncing around. Drilled in the air. Alright, so we can all agree that Jazz Chisholm is the man, and well, that man is going to be on this year's cover as our cover athlete, and I'm excited about it. He's got a lot of flair, a lot of flash, he plays the game well, but SDS, we need you to make this year the best year for MLB The Show. Give Jazz the respect he deserves, a game he can be proud of, what do you say? Alright, so like I said in this video, now we are going to do five things that I hope SDS fixes in offline gameplay. In our last video, we did five things that SDS should tweak with online play to make it a little better. If you wanna check that out, it should be clipped in at the end of this video. So check it out. All right, so the first one that we're gonna do is really the only one we're gonna do with Road to the Show. The other four will be with Franchise. So for you Road to the Show players, to me it's plain and simple, that's why it's just one. We have to have a better storyline. We just have to have a better storyline. So what I mean by a better storyline is we need more cutscenes. They give us a cutscene for the first hit. The guy throws in the ball. The ball gets play, you know, thrown back into the dugout. Whatever. It's cool. I'm glad they did it. But they've only done that for like three years now. I would love to see us putting on a jersey for the first time on draft day with the team that we select or that selects us. I would also love to see, you know, like when you win a silver slugger for the first time or rookie of the year or by God, an MVP award, then you get to the next season and nothing's talked about. You just go right back into gameplay and it's boring. It takes away the, the life of the game. Wouldn't it be awesome to win an MVP in 2023 the show and like in that 2023 season and then in 2024 on the first game you play at home so opening day at home they do a, a quick little ceremony to show you getting your award shaking somebody's hand I think that would be so unique to the game so that really ties up what I've got for Road to the Show I really think these ideas I, it would bring me back to Road to the Show so Hopefully you can agree with that, you know, but let's get on to number two and this will be the first of four for franchise mode. Okay, so my first one for franchise to me is probably the most important. Okay, so take in this scenario for a moment. Humor me. You're playing MLB 22, the show, and you really want to trade for Otani because we've all heard rumors and you know sometimes you want to start your own franchise and say I'm gonna trade for Otani only one problem you can't because you can only trade three players for three players that's it I mean you guys saw the Juan Soto deal right there was like six players like six seven players total in that deal it was ridiculous a whole farm system went over for him but yet, in MLB The Show, we can trade three for three. You're not, you're not getting Shohei Otani for three players unless you do like a Padres franchise and you trade Tatis. What's the fun in that? No one wants to trade the centerpiece of their organization. That would be like in real life, the Padres trading Tatis for Soto. It just doesn't make any sense, right? So three for three is a no-go let's be able to i'd say like six per team realistically 10 would be amazing so you could get that rush of pulling off a blockbuster trade but i would be okay with six and six just double it for us but that is topic number two and now i'll get on to topic number three okay topic number three is something that i think you guys would really enjoy and that is like road to the show more cut scenes Okay, so now take in this scenario. You're going into an offseason, playing the game, playing MLB 22, but now you're playing MLB 23, and you know that if you sign, let's say Shohei Otani, because he will be a free agent in the first year of MLB 23, the show, 
So say you sign him and uh, you're a Giants. You're a Giants fan. You do a Giants franchise. You sign Otani. Well, an MLB 22, that's it. That's all you get. There, There's nothing else. It's bland. It's boring. And you're really going to quit out and either go online or play another game. But why not give us some sort of like small clip like with the ring ceremony I was talking about or award ceremony why would you not do a clip they've done it before where they've brought Russo in for a clip in the beginning of the game to bring it more to make it more lifelike so why not do something with MLB Network to where you can get Greg Amsinger or Harold Reynolds or even Russo to do a small bit about oh wow look the Giants just signed this big player Shohei Otani he's going to the Giants this is a big move and maybe have three or four different cutscenes with MLB Network that they could do to make it feel like you're actually running the team because we don't pay anywhere from seventy to a hundred dollars for this game for it to just be bland over and over again. I love online. I only play online, but that's because offline is so so old, boring, bland. Anything that matches those words, that's offline play. They've got to they got to ramp it up a little bit for jazz, right? All right, so now we are on to number four, I believe. I'm just kidding. Number four. We're on to number four, and that is transactions in the off season that take forever. When you're in franchise, say you did the Shohei Otani sign, okay, cool. But before that, you know how it is, guys. You have to tender a contract to everyone, not just arbitration guys or guys that are ready to be tendered contracts no you got to do the entire system whether they're 60 overall 55 overall with f potential or d potential no one wants to sit there for 15 20 minutes it seems like 15 or 20 minutes going through all these transactions of players you don't care about and so i think there should be a filter that you can apply when you start this franchise that says okay anyone that's below a 60 or anyone that's got below c potential they just auto sign those guys auto sign auto release those guys because we genuinely i genuinely at least don't care about any of those guys i'm worried about my top prospects my top draft picks you know i'm worried about keeping them from the rule five draft but i'm not i don't care about a a 55 54 overall player that's 27 years old with d potential i'm not worried about getting him locked up it's just wasting my time and it's really killing my buzz and making me just want to hop off because it feels like such a waste of time you know but that's you know it's something they can fix in the future hopefully this year I doubt it, but it's a wish list, so we can wish. We can wish. But let's get into number five. Okay, so our fifth and final point and topic that I'd like to talk about with franchise mode is drafting. Drafting is huge for a lot of players. For me, it's fun, but it's bland. Again, I'm going to use that word because that is franchise mode in a nutshell. But wouldn't it be amazing to be able to have like a sheet of the top prospects in the country and you can actually go out and and scout these players like get clips of watching these players take ground balls fly balls pitch hit and actually get to have you guys remember a few years back where there was actually dialogue in the game i think is mlb 20 where the phone rang you picked it up and you could select what you say they should do that with these top prospects to where you can, you know, have a conversation with them to try to bring them in. You know, I think that would be great. I just think all of these elements in general would really, really help offline. I don't and I don't think that they want to do too much to help offline because at the end of the day, SDS is a business. They want to make money. And if they make road to the show or franchise too good and too appealing it's going to pull people away from offline which or sorry from online which is going to cut a lot of the money they make but realistically it's not bad enough to where it wouldn't be bad enough to where they can't make some changes so if you guys agree with any of these or disagree leave it in the comments below i 
it's not going to bother me if you disagree. We all have our own wish list. And if there's something that you think they should add, let me know down there. If there's something on your wish list that I missed, let me know. I'm okay with that. But if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Once a week, every Monday, we are going to upload something weird like this. When MLB 23 drops, we will obviously be doing more Diamond Dynasty stuff and go over the stuff that's new. But anyways, if you enjoyed, come back and see us next Monday.